Hey guys, just me here, Sarah. Coffee, cannabis, kitty, and a ginger, and Blaze. <laughs> um, oh, and here's Phoenix. Oh, let's see your swimsuit. Psycho cat, wait. Okay. Let's see your team suit. Oh, her team swimsuit. So cute. We just got it in the mail. Blaze, no. Okay, go. I take my cat. Whatever. <laughs> Shut the door. I know this. Um, so I, this will hopefully be the last video that has anything to do with my old employer. Um, I just got off of another hour long phone call. Um, you know, wasting my motherfucking time, but it was my appeal. So my second appeal, like our second hearing, cause it had to be extended cause of all the bullshit lies the judge has to see through. Um, the best one of today is someone claiming that they didn't send me a Snapchat that that I must have made up a fake account. Really, come the fuck on because you know you sent that shit to me. So, it's cool. I know that you're scared. I know that you need your job. But, what if? I mean, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter. Um, I've inconvenienced her, if anything, um, that she had to waste time on the phone for a couple hours so if anything that that was nice um but it's just funny because it's some people who lie like that blatantly fucking lie i don't need you in my life i don't need you in near me like that's not my kind of people so um i was surprised because my kitchen manager actually just said what I said and you know he didn't try to like lie about shit or anything which was cool um I appreciate that because thank you um they didn't bring another guy into it which I don't he doesn't need to be brought in all I said is that it's, he agreed with it sounded like I was fired so um I just hope that they also can move on from this and, you know, stick it out there, whatever your heart desires, but just leave me alone because you're obviously not really my friend. So, um, that was exciting, but the judge was just like, okay, um, we're done and I'll make my, you know, my decision soon. So we'll see. But at the end of the day, that part of 2019 is done. That was the last thing hanging over my head. I will never have to communicate with those people again. Um, you know, people know, like I was in a Terrapin the other day and um, the cashier, cause he, or my bud tender, whatever, he knew I used to work there. Cause you know, you go in there and you have a badge and they're like, oh, where do you work? Blah, blah, blah. So anyway, he was like, oh, this other girl was in here the other day. She didn't have anything good to say about that place either and I was like oh really who is that and they're like oh I don't know she has a really loud laugh though so you know we all know and um it's just funny because it's not just me talking shit because um when you're a nasty evil person um and you believe your own lies and stuff um it's okay because those kind of people don't matter so um it's just funny because you'll you'll dig your own grave eventually so it's cool and continue to sell sell sale I can't even talk sell failed goods and um, that'll eventually catch up to you too I'm sure but I don't care anymore because I'm not fucking involved with you praise Jesus so um, anyway oh yeah and go Trump 2020 so I'm going to get my tattoos touched up. Sorry, I'm really in a joint. So I have to like, you know, break weed up and it just takes forever. So that's why I'm not even looking up. But I'm going to get my tattoos touched up tonight. So that's exciting. Since I can't afford a new tattoo right now, I'll just go get them touched up. So it's like I'm getting a tattoo, you know, for that, that therapy piece of it. So, it's so weird, but it's so true. I mean, it's like, like I it, like inflicting pain on myself that's kind of that's kind of weird honey just kidding um but oh yeah 
So speaking of honey and, and pain, it's not really pain, but um, we're gonna take these like ropes classes. I know it's kind of weird, but it'll be fun. Something just different to do. Um, I also wanna try aerial yoga soon. So that'll be something fun. And um, I don't know. My kids are happy, healthy. My husband's sleeping good again. So he's happy again, you know, like feeling good. Um, he really has just had issues sleeping lately. Well, he kind of always has, but I think more so just because um, the way his father passed um, was in his sleep. So I just think it's some anxiety and um, it sucks, but we found the right meds. I know he has to take meds to sleep, but um, he's getting good sleep now, which he's like, honey, it makes all the difference, which I've always been a sleeper for the most part, except for when I'm having like anxiety issues, um, like I have been. Um, so I don't know, cause I always sleep good. Like I could sleep for a job. Not so much now that I've lost weight. Now that I've lost weight, I cannot nap. Like if I, I mean, I shouldn't say I can't, but I used to want to like nap all the time when I was 100 pounds heavier and, and I can't anymore. Like I'll be like, I'm going to go lay down and take a nap on like the weekend and I go and like lay down and then I'm like oh, tossing and turning for like 20 minutes and then I start looking at my phone and then I'm like, this is stupid. Why am I laying in bed? Because I'm not going to go to sleep. So um, then I get up. So that's kind of funny. Thank you for just being here with me while I'm doing this. I get, it gets lonely. It's so lonely. Um, I don't know if we're going to... I'm going to try to get my husband to go off-roading this weekend. It's just nice to clear the mind and get up in the mountains. It really does. Like, being going out in nature... Well, maybe not so much in, like, the Midwest right now because it's, like, zero degrees and um, winter and horrible. Hence why I don't live there. But being able to have sun year round for the most part, I mean, it's, yeah, it's sunny out today, makes all the difference. I think it makes a difference in mental health. I think that, um, oopsie, I think that it just brings your mood up. So that's why yesterday after work, I went for a walk run. I don't know, I'm not really a runner, but I think it's because I've just always been heavy my whole adult life. So it's not too bad if I do it in short intervals, but I also don't know really what I'm doing, so I don't want to hurt myself. And I also didn't have a sports bra on, and we already know that these are really saggy, and they're bouncing everywhere, and it hurt. So uh, I really haven't had that problem before, because at least before they were full, so they like, didn't tug so much, if that makes sense. So that was really fun. I did a mile and a half in like 20 minutes. So I'm not like fast by any means, but it was, I was like, oh, I can come home after work and sit on my ass and do nothing. Or, oh, I should go for a walk. So I'm gonna try to start to make, start to make a habit of that. Seeds, oh, seeds. So weird how like half of our harvest has barely any seeds and the other seems to have more. I don't know why. I'm new to this. So I also went um, to my consult yesterday for my boobs. And here in Colorado, and this guy did really nice looking ones is the reason I picked him. Um, it would be about $14,000 for, cause I have to get a lift and implants. So that's ridiculous. So I was like, oh, I think, remember like last fall when I called the plastic surgeon back in Illinois and was like, how much is it for a mommy makeover, like full body? And it was like 15,000. So boobs here are 14,000. So I called there this morning and was like, hey, you know, I'm out of state, but I have family there. And I was wondering how much a lift and implants are. Okay, for real. Um, the lift and implants are 7,000 
plus the cost of the implant, which at the most is 2,500. So we're looking at um, 9,500 max in Illinois for, uh, you know, boobs. It's almost double here. That is such highway robbery. That just proves that first off the plastic surgeons in like expensive, more expensive areas are making a killing off of people because that's crazy. And second, I forgot what I was going to say because I'm a fucking stoner and that's the way my mind works. So anyway, well, I got to get this done because I got to go to the tattoo parlor. Um, my husband will be home soon. That's my favorite part of the day when we're home together. So he usually gets home about 4.30 after work. But then I have to leave by like 4.45 tonight. So he gets to take Phoenix to swim team. So anyway, y'all have a good night. Oh, hang on. Should we just do this for good measure since you're here with me? I mean, I don't even know if people watch till the end. But here we go. We need to clean this nasty thing. <coughs> so, anyway, thanks for watching. Deuces to 2019. Fuck off to all the people that want to lie and say shit like that. And have a good night.